Alright guys, welcome back to Cigars with Koi. So this is the final cut on the KO American. Uh, my final takes, what, uh, what flavors come out in the cigar as it developed, uh, if I liked it more than the Brazilian. So the the only flavor that really shined, that really developed afterwards was sweet bread. Sweet bread was pronounced all the way through the cigar. Uh, the pepper got a little bit more pronounced. Uh, it had a funky, weird aftertaste, uh, which isn't all the way that bad. It kind of complemented the whole thing. There was there was a couple notes in it that. Uh, you kept trying to pick out on your palate, but it was hard, and I just couldn't come up with it. Uh, it was a a very tasty cigar, uh, but still the Brazilian, in my opinion, is the better KO. Now, before anyone just goes through and starts busting out some negative comments, uh, this uh, this cigar review is subjective. Uh, it's my points of views on the cigars that I taste. Now, I like pumpkin pie, but you may not like pumpkin pie, so you're going to be different than what I am, points of views. That's all I'm saying. Uh, was this uh, my go-to? No, uh, definitely not. I, I would rather uh, prefer a KO Brazilian with a tighter draw than this American. Uh, but other than that, it was a slow-burning cigar, it burned, uh, you know, pretty much wonky from the start, but still, it was it was pleasurable. Uh, it's definitely uh, I would I would buy again for sure. On a grading scale, A being the best, A plus being the best, F minus being the worst, I would I would rate this at a B to B plus. It was a very, excuse me, a very pleasurable smoke. Uh, super super big. Uh, Almost like you couldn't just, uh, you know, put in your mouth or just walk around. Like you had to hold it in your hands because it was just, uh, it was heavy. It's a heavy cigar. Smoke output through the whole thing has, uh, has definitely been there. Has not, uh, <coughs> has not once, uh, you know, disappointed. This thing has a pretty big binder as uh, I'm reaching the binder now that the taste is, uh, you know, getting a little uh, off, I should say. Sweetbread, uh, spice, uh, all the way pepper. It's getting a lot, a lot more uh, peppery as, uh, as I get to uh, the end. So on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed my review on uh, the KO American 6x60. Uh, for the price point, this cigar was definitely on par. Uh, you're looking at nine underneath $10 for a 6x60 uh, in a cigar shop. Uh, that's, that's a pretty good deal in my opinion. I would uh, definitely uh, purchase again. It was that good. Alright guys, thanks for uh, stopping in on by, and uh, why don't you guys go check out yourself uh, and try it, see if, uh, see if you like it. The K.O. American. Still, in my opinion, this is one of the most beautifully wrapped uh, and constructed cigars uh, as of this far. I think uh, with the, the Connecticut, with the Maduro wrapper twisted like that, is... Uh, is a, a a very nice uh how should i say this uh they they complement uh each other with the wrapper it's just a very beautiful cigar uh this would not probably be in my breakfast blend uh cigar roundup but more like after dinner uh i think this uh, would definitely shine all right 
Peace, uh, y'all. Hope uh, you enjoyed the review. Look for the more reviews coming up. Rocky Patel Edge is definitely going to be on the next one up. Uh, we also have Psycho 7 uh, is going to be up. Uh, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Peace. For all your beard needs, check out wolfcrybeardcompany.com. If you got them, like those sticks up.